Well, a good day to you all. It's me, the Salty Train Spotter, and I've just completed my first ride on the Elizabeth Line slash cross rail slash the purple train, as uh, good old Jeff calls it, uh, along with so many other people. But yeah, we're here at Abbey Wood. We've just completed our first journey. Um, I just wanted to do it um, from Canary Wharf because that's the easiest one to get to for me. Um, so I, uh, I'm, I'm out for two videos today. I'm going to do this video, which is my thoughts, impressions of the new Elizabeth line. And I'm also doing a second video. I'm going to go back to Canary Wharf where I started to hopefully find the public pianos there to go and play a bit and maybe record a video. The only problem is my tripod is broken. Uh, if you remember, always oh, some train people. There were some uh, train people there filming. Um, not train people, just people like me. But, um, yeah, I got a tripod for my birthday uh, roundabouts, and it's um, you know it's got three things: obviously tripod, and uh, and uh, there's a plane coming in there, and. Um, yeah, I got the tripod. I just wanted to see it. I'm just going to see if it's... Is this coming? No, they're just over there. Looks like they're filming them. Because maybe that's their first time as well. But yeah, I got a tripod for my birthday to film mostly for ringing videos. Because that's the most thing I do at the moment is ringing videos more than anything else. And it's broken. Because one of the spokes, or one of the tripod thingamajiggies, uh, one of the tripod things has actually come off. Um, it's uh, come off its holder. It, there's, there's like a central holder for all three of the things, and one of them has like detached itself from the holder attachment thing, if you see what I mean. I might show you a picture of it. Um, but basically one of them is broken and uh, I don't know if it's repairable, I'm going to take it home and see if we can do stuff about it but it's I, I don't know if it's repairable and if not I'll just have to get a new one I guess but uh, yeah, so I can't use a tripod for this video otherwise I would hold it down um, there's just a, a railing over here that I would probably hold it down in so I don't have to hold it but yeah, first impressions, there's, a, there's another one coming in there uh, seems pretty good it's a very regular service, it's uh, every five minutes in fact, every five minutes uh, service, which means they get about, because there's two platforms over there, I'm on the southeastern side, there's less people here, um, it means they get, roughly speaking, about eight minutes on the stand here, because obviously there's no turn back track, like it, it doesn't come in on one platform, turn around and then come back, it, they, they stay here until they leave basically. So they have to factor in time for a train to come in, come out, and then the next one to come in on that platform. And that takes roughly two minutes. So they only get about eight minutes on the stand, but you know that that's good enough. Um, so about the service, currently it's running. The the new bit that's opened up is between Paddington and Abbey Wood. Abbey Wood is where I am now. Um, obviously, uh, so there's basically three separate services at the moment. We've got this Paddington to Abbey Wood service. Um, which is the new bit and then we have the existing two branches on either side so we've got the Liverpool Street to Shenfield branch which has been running since uh, 2015 and then we have the Paddington to Heathrow and Reading branch which has been running since around 2019 um, in terms of having uh, crossrail purple trains on it so uh, yeah this is the new bit that's opened up between Paddington and Abbey Wood and it's pretty good you know, we've got um, five every five minute services. Uh, there are nine carriage trains at the moment. They've got a mixture of nine and seven carriage three four fives. Um, so they, I think, all of the ones on the new section are all nine carriage trains to fit in with the platform lengths. But the seven carriage ones are, I think, I believe, still being used for the Liverpool Street to Shenfield sections and also the um, Paddington to Heathrow sections and ready. So I'm going to continue a bit once this train's arrived so all the people can go away. So actually I've got no problem continuing here. Because um, 
there's no one in the front carriage of this train, so I can continue. Um, so yeah, nine carriage trains at the moment, um, with seven on the outer sections, and they've also still got some spare three four uh, three one fives, the old trains. They used to run on the Liverpool Street to Shenfield bit, but then these bad boys came in the three four fives. So uh, yeah, um, they're air conditioned. Uh, nine carriages, and the platforms are 260, if I remember correctly, meters long. So you you have you. It takes less than five of those platforms to walk just one kilometer. And having a race, look. Both of them going at the same time there. Um, in terms of speed, they have a maximum speed of 90 miles an hour, which is the pretty much standard speed for new trains. Um, most of them used to be 75, uh, 75 miles an hour, but now they're 90, and they get up to that mostly only during the bits um, between uh, out on the Paddington to Reading section. So, in, uh, on the way towards Heathrow and then in the stations, like. Between Maidenhead, Twyford, Reading, out that way, the stations are quite spread apart, so they get up to 90 over there. But um, yeah, they're fast, um, they're air conditioned, and they're gonna take a lot. I can imagine they're, they've, you know, it's been open for six days now, so I can imagine that a lot of pressure off the existing lines is gonna get uh, relieved. So there's a tempting one coming in at the moment and uh, another purple train. So I can imagine Central Line customers who've been wanting the purple trains around for years, just like everyone else, you know, they were three and a half years delayed. Um, they were meant to open in um, December 2018. So we'll see how busy this train is. If not, then I'll continue. But um, yeah, so I hope they're gonna take off a lot of pressure off the uh, Central Line. Oh, there's no one getting off here. Off the, uh, off the central line and off the, um, off the central line, other lines like that. I hope they're going to take a lot of pressure off. Um, because the central line, until now at least, maybe even still is horrible. Maybe still is horrible. Especially during rush hour, it's horrible, hot. Whereas these air-conditioned duties right there, they're really good. So I'll just continue because there's some people coming. So yeah, as I was saying before the train got there, um, yeah, I hope they're going to take off a lot of pressure. I'm guessing they will. There's some people over there trying to get on the train. Um, but yeah, so um, just to clarify, it's only the bit, only the new bit, the underground bit between Paddington and Abbey Wood is operating. They're the only services that are happening at the moment. Then until um, around autumn-ish, they're going to open up um, either the Paddington or the Liverpool Street bits, I don't know which one. Um, and then in 2023, around May-ish, so basically a year from now, they're going to open up the other one out of the Paddington or Liverpool Street section that wouldn't have been open then. So there's three, there's two more things still to do. They've got to do the Liverpool Street uh, low-level station and they've got to do the Paddington, low um, the Paddington connection. Um, uh, to the uh, Reading branch from the uh, underground bit. Um, also, Bond Street Station isn't open. Um, they're slightly delayed, so they're not open yet. Um, I think they... I'm not sure when they said it'll be open. Maybe around summer? Autumn, they said? I'm not too sure. But yeah, Bond Street isn't open yet. And um, also, what else is there? I think that's it. Uh, oh, stuff is happening. Oh, glitched a bit for a bit there. Um, yeah, so pretty good ride so far. Uh, it's, it's annoying that it's not really in my area because it's, apart from this little bit uh, from um, Woolwich to Abbey Wood, it's all north of the river. Um, so that's a bit annoying. Um, I'm not, 
unless I'm north of the river, I'm not really going to use it. And it also depends what what direction I'm heading. I'm not going to use this bit anyway. I might use the um, the bits. You know, I I use I've used the bit between Liverpool Street and Shenfield about five times ever since it was TfL Rail days. But um, yeah. I'm probably not going to use it that regularly, just because of where it is, there's another one going. But uh, yeah, well, overall a good service, and um, they get a good review from me. So yeah, you may see a second video today, I'm going to head to Canary Wharf back again now to see if I can find a public piano to play, and maybe record some bits, but like I said, my tripod's broken, so I might not be able to just rest the phone somewhere and do that. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed this little review. Um, bit more personal video on like the ringing ones I've done these days and uh, yeah I shall see you next time wherever that will be